Hello, welcome to the Flower Dragon tutorial. My name is Sarah. I'm going to be your guys' paint instructor today. Thank you for joining me and let's start to paint. So I'm going to activate my paint first, which means you're going to dip into a cup of water and then let a few drips of water get onto your paints. Now we do this so that way the water starts to absorb into the dry paint and when we're ready to use the colors, that they will be nice and vibrant. Okay. So I had already activated mine earlier. I also got my water glass for rinsing my brushes. I like to use just an old little plastic container or some kind of old jar. Paper towel, you can tape down your watercolor paper with a little bit of masking tape if you would like. But first, while our paints are activating, we are going to take our brush, dip it into some water, and just start painting some of the background, getting it wet, going just up to the lines, going around the dragon. And I can't really see water on there, but just pushing, adding a little bit of water, getting this wet. I'm gonna go add a little. I'm gonna do one half. I'm gonna stop right down here by the tail because that's all I want with the blue. So I'm just kind of getting wet. I don't have big puddles of water. I'm just moving that water around. Getting that pre wet so that way I can take a little bit of blue paint and then just start to move that blue paint around on the pre moistened paper. It's gonna give it a cool effect. This is called wet on wet in the watercolor world. So if you wanna do kind of a fade out, and it just kind of, it's magical, it just kind of grows for you. And then you just move where you want it to go. And it will stay off of where um, the paper is dry. So it's only gonna move, that pigment of the paint, it's only gonna move where we got the paper a little bit wet or we put our brush over it. So if I wanna go a little bit lighter, I wash my brush, take a clean brush with a little bit of water, and I can just start to pull some of this pigment out. And work its way. I like leaving a little bit of a gap between our dragon and the lines. The important when you do watercolor is that there is no white paint, you just want to leave any of your paper white where you want it white. And I'm just stealing a little paint from over here. And draw a line for where I want my grass. And then again, I'm gonna take just a little bit of water and I'm just doing a little circular motion. I didn't want to paint my whole background. I just want there to be a little bit of blue on the back. Just give it a little hint of color, clean my brush off. Then to fade these lines here, just take a clean brush and just dab a little bit on there. So now that we got the first side done, we're going to do the second and cleaning my brush off, taking some water. Just going to paint, paint on out. Now you don't have to be really um, aggressive with these brushes. Just go nice and easy, move the water around. Watercolor painting is all about just moving that paint and water to the areas that you want and then letting it settle. So I got a good amount of my background on the second half wet. I'm going to take a little bit of the blue. That's very cool. And you can just dab on some of the pigment. One little dab of paint will go a long way. And I want it to go lighter up there, so I'm just going to move this paint on down. I like the way it looks when it kind of um, just naturally spreads out on its own. A little bit dark underneath here. Just take your time. These videos, you can pause them anytime. Uh, I move on pretty quickly just for the sake of keeping the video file a little bit smaller. 
And I've gotten a lot of practice painting. I own my own paint studio out here in Wasilla, teach classes. I get to paint all the time for things. There, that looks pretty good. I'm liking it. So we got our background wet, put some um, blue pigment on there around our dragon. And this is what I'm thinking about too. Oops, I gotta go right in here. There's a little space right here on the paint blue between the neck and the flower. There we go. Thinking about what um, color we're gonna want our dragon while we're doing this. So I'm gonna take some of my green paint next. And I'm just gonna do apply a little bit of green paint all around here. Underneath and across. Now I'm going to do the fade out with that as well. So I clean my brush, take a little bit of water, and I can just fade out with this green, keeping most of it darker underneath there. And I also, I stopped here like this is a line of my dragon, but that's just the line for the the flower stem, so I actually got to paint back towards its feet and then up its belly. <laughs> there we go. So that that blue corner the neck and it goes under here. That line there is just for the stem of the flower. That's good. I think I'm gonna make my dragon a little bit of on the warm side with some orange and red. And I'm going to get the main part of my body. I'm staying away from my outside a little bit. I'm leaving a gap, but I'm getting like around its leg here, up its tail, kind of the center of all this wet first. And I'm going to take a little bit of orange. I'm just going to dab that right on here, what I'm painting in. I could grab more paint, dab a little bit of red along the back side. Kind of look like scales, and then when you want it to just pull straight, mm -hmm. and just start painting in again. Pause the video so if you need to pause. And I like once I have paint on there, I just kind of dab the tip of my brush onto the paint. It gives it kind of a cool texture, like scales. I like leaving a little bit of white space between. If you need to add a little more water to your paints, just add a little more water to your paints. Painting full detail on the ends, like the little flower, flower petals. So anywhere you want your paint to be a little bit darker, have more paint. Wherever you want it to be a little bit lighter, you want more water. water you can also take a little bit of paint from some of your other spots if you feel like you have too much on there I'm leaving the belly right now I'm gonna come back a little bit later on the head up here I'm gonna just make just a little bit of it wet first and then I wipe my brush and I'm gonna take whatever color I want 
And I know I want this a little bit darker at the top, so I'm taking a little more red. Start slowly painting in your dragon. Now you can always, when your watercolor is completely dry, later you can, if you don't like the pencil lines, you can come back with a fine tip pen or sharpie. And I'm going around its eye. We want to leave the white of its eye in there. With her eye. And again, I'm just moving and dotting this paint. a little bit of practice don't be kind to yourself don't get discouraged you're learning something new takes a little bit of time and a lot of practice so I tell my students in my class be kind to yourself Always go back if you wanted to add a little bit more spots of paint on there. I think that's kind of, kind of fun and cool. I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow on the ends of its tail. Head. If you get a little spot out here where the paint kind of bleeds out of where you want it to go, you can just take a little bit of paper towel and just wipe it. flower purple and do one petal at a time I want to make a little bit this darker in between the petals so I'm gonna mix I'm gonna take a little bit of my purple paint scoop it out over here clean my brush off scoop a little bit of blue I'm gonna mix that together to make a darker bluish purple color, maybe a little more purple in there. There we go. And I'm just gonna go right underneath and just add that little accent on there. So every watercolor palette has these little sections. It separates and you can mix um, paint. It's very cool, something I learned in later in life. And if you want to make it a lighter color, you could always just add a little more water to it. So if you want a little bit lighter, you can. I'm gonna use this just kind of go underneath. Add a little bit of depth and dimension there. There we go. Mm, and then, what color do I want to make the horn? Maybe I'll make the horn purple too. Mm, I don't know. So many decisions in designing a dragon here. I think we'll do the horn and the belly, like a blue green. So I'm going to mix a little bit of green. It's a little blue. It's gonna kind of become like a turquoise color. I think that's gonna be kind of cool. And I'm just going to go, yeah, like that. I'm gonna use the same color. I wanna go on its belly, but I wanna make it a little bit lighter too. So I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow. And I'm just gonna go right up. So fun. Possibilities are endless. 
Oops. There's a little bit of water in my brush. See if that happens. Just soak it up a little paper towel. You want to just let it absorb into your paper towel like that. You don't want to kind of rub it back and forth. So it absorb in. There we go. And then go back and reapply a little bit of paint. Take a little bit of this black color. Oh, it's actually like light brown, that's cool. And dark brown, I'm gonna leave that little circle. stuff dries a little bit, smoothing things out, adding any extra little details. And pull across some little bits in its belly. Which makes a little bit of red and purple. Mixing for mine to kind of shadow right underneath his arms. Or her. Just bring a little bit under the feet. This is a darker color than what you were painting with. So everybody's gonna be a little bit different. I forgot to pull a little bit of that dark green underneath his tail here. And that's it for our dragon watercolor. Thank you guys for painting.